Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we're taking a look at Bowser's Castle 2 in the Bowser Cup. So pre-recording this for um, the second half of the Hammer Bro Tour. We'll be taking a look at driver kart glider setup and looking at how to maintain and maximize use of all the items, dash panels, jump boosts on this level. So, in terms of driver options, if you have got any of these Fire Bros or the Fire Bro or Ice, Ice Bro up, you know, they're good options, but most of us will probably have invested into Bowser and Dry Bowser, being that they they cover a lot of levels. Um, Bowser's Shell is a great ability to have with stall tactics as well. So I will be going in with my Dry Bowser, who I can level up. I've got plenty of tickets left to spare, and I can take that 4% chance to a 7% chance. I will just see where I lie in the standings you know, towards the end of this cup. So I, but I wanted to hold off just to uh, see whether it was necessary to just spend that ticket. Otherwise, you could invest in Bowser, who's equally as good, but just obviously you're not going to miss out on the 125 points at the beginning, and you're probably going to have a less uh, chance of starting a frenzy if they're at the same level. If I took Bowser to level 4, got 5% chance and 3 times bonus points, I would be going in with Bowser. So anyone, if it's one higher than your high end, go for that. I'll be going in with this guy though. Uh, when it comes to car options, we have some good options. We've got one common, so we should all hopefully have a car to go in with that's top tier. Rocket Start Plus, obviously not a great ability to have. So you really want to be going in with either um, Dark Clown, which, which has Mini Turbo Plus, or I'd probably favor para wing being that there are so many jump boosts in this level which is not a trick level it basically looks like one and slipstream plus you know being in third place on on those out of those four carts so if you've got a high level I'd go para wing I've got a higher level on dark clown so I will be going in with my mini turbo plus so then when it comes to gliders we have only two options very limited and they're both high ends Wicked Wings has Super Horn Plus, which is probably better than Rainy Balloons because you're more likely to be able to get it, but still not great. I don't think it's a good thing to get, and you can. It's very difficult to get hit sometimes when you're quite ahead in, in, in the track. So, Lightning Plus would be a good option. With, I will be using stall, stack, stall start tactics on this one, uh, so you might get a Lightning Plus early on. Let's get into it then. Let's take a look at this run. Um, so Bowser Castle 2. Didn't take too long. It's not a difficult track. We'll just talk through some, some of the more difficult sections to maintain and how to make best use of the items on the, on the race track. So from the start, it's a mini turbo boost, coins mini turbo boost into the dash panel. So store start tactics just gives you that chance of pulling the Bowser shell frenzy. If you get that you're gonna rack up huge points at the beginning. So start turning normal drift up, release into these coins. You can get two if you position yourself nicely. Charge and then release. So we've got the dash panel. The dash panels will give you a little bit of extra time. You just want to use that to set up and try and get of the coins there now you want to make use of some of these bowser barrels if they're uh, if you've got a frenzy or i think you mushroom mushroom through them as well left turn into here trying to get a coin and a dash panel you could go for this the side but it's quite difficult to get i don't think it's impossible to get them all um dash panel so take that corner tight enough and you'll also get the coin and we Go over these dash panels. Start turning to the right here. Set yourself up nicely so that you can get a coin over every one of these jumps. Again, you can position yourself in the middle and get two. Now, coming around this corner, I like to charge up a super mini turbo. It just gives me a little bit of extra room to be able to position myself here. I would usually take that coin and then turn back and try and get another coin and set myself up to these side ones, which are just an extra little jump boost that you, you can, you're able to get in and then start turning you should be able to get all four of these if you take your turn right and then we've got a supercharge which you can release and that's the first lap done 
Now, I hold my ticket just in case I get hit by anything. See, there you see, we, we picked up two points on this lap. Release, start up a turn to the right, set up so that I can come across two of these coins. Two of these coins, and I get one. Right, so coming through here, we don't have anything that means we can take out any of those bombs. We use an item to get there, so that's probably the only difficult section to maintain a drift. But you can still maintain it with mini turbos. So we come through here, pick up a coin on the, on the jump boost, and start turning to the right. If you take this wide enough and you don't hit the lip of that the side, you can get that coin as well, but it's pretty tight angle. So from here, start turning to the right, building up our drift. Picking up a coin, and then picking up another coin on the second set of dash panel jump boosts. Then it's a case of build up to super mini turbo, release, that gives you enough time to let's aim towards here. I'd actually probably say it's better just to go into a straight line. Because what I'm doing there is, is although I'm getting these dash panel jump boosts, I'm missing out on the coins. And you, you want to favour the dash panel jump boosts over the single dash panels. So I'd probably say you'd go for that. And coming through here, skip that point, skip, skip that cone, coin, not a cone. Then release a mini turbo, super mini turbo. And with that, we complete the track with a 120 times combo. As you can see, I mean, it, it, it wasn't with a good frenzy. This one was 16,702. If I pull a a coin frenzy then or a get a Bowser shell at the beginning I'm racking up way 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 more points Did we start off with it let's start off with a uh, nah, no 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 frenzy to start with store tactics you'll get a mushroom frenzy we like one in six on this level um, and just keep running it and eventually hopefully you guys can get a higher score than what I've got uh, we'll be playing obviously I'm doing pre-recording this for next week so next week I'll have plenty of time to grind through it and get a high score, high score than what I've got. Okay, well that's all for this one. Hopefully it's been helpful for you guys. If you have found it helpful, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.